Hey tenor drummers, John here, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to play crosses. Now crosses are one of the most fun things to do on tenor drums. You can really spice up your playing and take really some easy notes and turn them into something that looks very flashy and cool and impressive, especially to non-drummers. So let's go ahead and talk about them. So when you're going to cross on adjacent drums, like drum one and two, or three and one, two and four, uh, you've probably heard that you want to cross at the thumbs. And that's, that's true, but I like to actually push out a little farther and cross maybe about an inch or so uh, in front of my thumbs or above my thumbs. All right, and that's going to that's going to allow you to keep this top hand a little lower because what you might see with a lot of beginning drummers they want to cross like this and you know that just kind of gives you a amateurish kind of look so keep that top hand down as far as you can without hitting the stick if you occasionally hit the sticks together that's not a big deal that shows that you're trying to keep it down so um, definitely work on that keeping it as low as possible all right it doesn't matter which hands on top Went across just right there. Same thing on these outside drums. The playing position doesn't change at all. You can see my left hand still playing exactly where it would be if I wasn't crossed at all. Same thing with the wrist rotation. Your hand has no idea if you're crossing over, under, not crossed at all. It's just doing the same thing that it's been trained to do. Okay? So same thing over here. Keep that bottom hand low and play in the normal playing positions. So when you're crossing over two drums and it gets a little trickier, uh, then you want to kind of cross at this knuckle here, okay? And your, uh, your crossing arm is going to be a little higher this time because you still want to get that good wrist rotation and you have your other hand in the way. So it's going to naturally have to be a little higher. but you should still be playing in that same playing position as if you were uncrossed, all right? When you go to the outside drums here, the hand underneath is going to be playing in the normal spot, but this crossed hand, you know, since uh, you're crossing over, and actually you're crossing at the wrists, you can see, um, this one's going to be pushed out just a tiny bit more than normal, all right? Because you don't want this stick to be hitting the underneath hand and messing up your flow. Okay, so you have to push that out just a tiny bit so you can get nice relaxed wrist rotation. So some things that you can do just to get comfortable with these. I like to do double stops. You know, practice both left hand over. Don't just do all the right hand overs, okay? You want to do left hand over as well. Practice double stops. You can also practice some singles. Stuff like that. Um, if you're going on uh, if you're crossing over two drums, then you can do stuff like this. Things like that. Um, same with the outside drums. Okay, um, you could also do things like this. Those are always fun. Uh, <laughs> so just play around with it, try a bunch of different patterns to see what you can come up with. All right, but just make sure that your hands are still doing the same relaxed wrist stroke that they would otherwise be doing on one drum and have fun with it. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.